Harold Muntz to learn how to use the computer, didn't it, Carol? It did not. She's a bit touchy on the subject. How would you like to pay, love? Right, Trev, can you do that? Yeah. Oh, uh, having an early lunch, are we, Carol? My second year's told me you're constructing a solar-powered car. How exciting! Yes, well, uh, most of them seem to have grasped the basic principles. Basic principles? You have captured their imagination. I have. Isn't it what we're all always searching for as teachers? How to teach what is worthy in an exciting way. Yes. And you have done it, Mr. Hankin. You have pulled it off. You have made it exciting to be green. Uh, do you think we could use the car as a sort of a, a logo for the campaign? Um, what campaign? You did know I was starting an environment campaign with the children, didn't um, you? Um, no. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh. Oh, oh well, no, I don't think I'm quite Mr. the person Hankin, to... imagination. Just imagine if we could harness all that energy to save the planet instead of destroying it. Yes. That would be something indeed. Good. I thought we'd start with recycling. Bottle bags and, uh... Paper? Paper. Uh, That's not yours. So? We hired it for the day. I'm not racing that. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, mind the car. You'll get your money back if you win. If you win. I tell you, whoever's got it better not try and use it. The controls are really delicate. Not here. Right, everybody, take up starting positions. Already have. OK, Barry? Yep. Go! Are these adverts for real companies, then? Yeah, we've got to go to a meeting, work out a brief and all that. Miss Booth is one of the companies who's actually looking for a design to use in a real campaign. He doesn't look about all the Hargreaves. Because mm. he's making money out of it, that's why. Who is? Yeah. The school. These companies are paying to advertise here. Where'd you hear that? Oh, I just heard. Oh. Right, ready? Oh, come on! Come on, Come on, can do it! Go on! Yeah. Now look, it's you, sir. I win. Right, hand over the money. Neil. Well, Baz, I think that you've done my money. Is it all right? Yeah, just about. Here, let's have a go. It's really beautiful. Indeed, leave your first. This is an exciting opportunity to work with real companies to real briefs and deadlines, designing real adverts for real products. And who knows? One of you might come up with a design that's used right across the country. That really would be something to submit with your coursework, wouldn't it? Now, I've fixed up meetings with the various companies, and this is the itinerary. Please make careful note. They're very busy people. I don't want any mistakes. Sir? Is it true that the school's making money out of this project? Well, hopefully, yes. How much are you going to make? I don't really know. Don't you think we should be paid? Paid? What for? Well, I work. Do you usually get paid for your GCSE coursework? <sighs> Our GCSE coursework isn't usually sold, sir. These companies aren't paying for your work. They're paying the school for advertising space. Well, there's not much point in having advertising space with no adverts to go in it, is there? Proper designs cost a fortune, you know. I think you've got the wrong end of the stick here, Christine. This may come as a shock to you, but these companies weren't queuing up for the privilege of using your designing skills. On the contrary, I had to persuade them to let you have a go, and it wasn't easy. They took quite a lot of convincing, I can tell you. Now, I suggest you start looking at this, like other pupils here, as the opportunity. It undoubtedly is. And put your energies into coming up with a really original design, hmm? Let's get going in your seats. Pass these along, please. My name is Jan van der Groot. And I come from the Dutch town of Lisse, here, by the North Sea. And I'm here to teach you maths. So let's get on. Hey, these are right by GCSE papers, sir. And you are? Natalie, sir. Let's look at the first question. Number one. How many liters of white paint does it take to paint all the white lines on the football pitch in the diagram if an average two-liter container is enough to paint 4.5 meters? What's your name? Nick, sir. Uh, on the football pitch? Yes. 
Bet you some good Ajax, sir. Don't you, sir? Ajax. I take it you uh, don't know how to work out the answer, Nick. Somebody else? Uh, you divide the perimeter by 4.5. It was Chrissy, sir. Correct. Uh, Justine. Justine. Mm. Number two. How do you work out an estate agent's percentage? Um, multiply the price of the house by... Is it 2 over 100? 100 over 2, I can never remember. The former. Okay, off you go. Sorry to disturb you. There's been a call from the Murdoch Flat Agency. I thought you'd like to get back to them as quickly as possible. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on this lot till you get back. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, N4, just carry on with what you're doing, please. Trevor, I've got an appointment. Can you hold the phone till Carol gets back? What if someone comes in? We'll show them some brochures or something. And don't leave the shop till she gets back, right? You be okay? Yeah, go on. <sighs> Look, what's up? Nothing. There is something, isn't there? Is everything all right? Yes. If there was something the matter, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? Of course. You're going out to lunch with Trev? No, it's night today. How about you? Well, I'll sit out, go out with Nat. See you later. Yeah, what? Yeah. Oh, bye. See you later. Like a ticket, please. Uh, sorry, no can do. But how about some wine splendor, or even far away by Vegas? I know where I want to go. I have to be in Paris by this evening. I get the caretaker. Well, I'm not the caretaker. Well, give me a ticket, please. Well, I can't. Well, how long will it be until someone can? Well, any minute now. Look, uh, did you say Paris? Yes. Well, maybe I can help you, sir. Take a seat. All right. Destination Paris. And you want to travel today, Mr... Robinson. Robinson. Right. If I was a go-up, I'm going to return. No. Right, that'll be £240, please. Go, sir, your ticket. Thank you. No problem. He's looking for a flat, you know. Who? Hey. Jan. I had McCluskey when she left him. Because he went and lived nice when he came back. Oh, it's not that bad. It must be difficult living in a strange country. Pen, told you he's looking for a blonde guy. Why, do you fancy him? Yeah. Hello, oh, sir. Got any dough balls? Dough balls? Yeah, I always have dough balls with me pizza. Ah, uh, sir. Well, then I'll have a mug, please. Certainly, sir. Uh, one margarita, Susan. Come in, Uncle. Can you just talk? Come on. Uh, hold me a minute, sir. Oh, what's your name? Let's go, mate. Must have done less than 200 dinners. And it's very nearly the end of lunch. Ah, Jenny. Are you off to lunch? Well, come and put me out of my misery. Oh, I've no influence in the food department, if that's what you mean. I want to hear all about Mance of yours. We met on the Monday. Oh, you're joking. Oh, Craig, look, I'm sorry I didn't invite you to the wedding. But we got married in Skiro because I went there on a painting holiday, still a course. We were walking through the olive groves one evening and he said, why don't we get married? So we... Stuff? Yeah, but who is of it? It's all right for you, Alice. You don't need a lot anyway. Don't. I'm still afternoon after these dinners. Everybody will get there. Yeah. No one ever brings sure you up any of these. Yeah, it would have to be someone really small and pathetic looking. Yeah. Somebody really weedy. What's she looking at me for? Carol, Paris shows. What Paris? I haven't sold a ticket to Paris today. You must have it on the computer. We need something to rub in her face. You do not. Oh, come on, Alice. You've got to look the part. Yeah. No. Sorry, Alice. Come on, Alice. <laughs>